Assalamu alaikum, I'm Manar from Morocco and you're watching Moroccan Reactions. In today's video, I'll react to uh, Pakistan street food versus India street food. Who does it better? So, here is a comparison hai between Pakistan street food and India street food. So, let's see ke, um, uske baare mein kya kehte hain aur usko zyada kya pasand aata hai. Kya pasand aaya hai Indian street food ya Pakistani street food. And let's start the video. One, two, three. That is the broth. I've got my bread. Let's get in there. Nihari hai kya hai? Good morning from Pakistan. Right now I'm in the city of Islamabad. This morning I woke up at 5 a.m. for breakfast. But well, let me back up for a second and explain what we're doing in this video. India, Pakistan, two countries right next to each other. Actually, they used to be one country not that long ago. Now they're separated, divided, and sometimes there's a little contention between the two countries. Today I'm going to focus on the contention around a couple of food items. I'm going to go to the capital in Pakistan and in India, and I'm going to compare two of the most popular dishes in each country, the Nihari and the Biryani. I'm going to see food who does these dishes better? Both countries are going to claim they made it first or they made it better, but I want to see for myself. We're in Islamabad right now. We're heading to a restaurant that has the most insane hours I've ever seen. They open at 4.30 a.m. and they close at 9.30 a.m. By 9.30, if you want breakfast, it's too late. So Nihari, still beef. People are waking up so early or maybe not going to sleep, but people love this dish. We're going to go to the restaurant right now to see what it's all about. Let's go. By the way, this city is beautiful. This city is the urban version of Hunza. I mean, like it's very peaceful. We are deep in Islamabad right now. We've come to an alleyway where there's a lot of business and a lot of action. There's a ton of breakfast places. This is semolina pudding or halva. Over here we've got some fried bread. And then there's a few different Nihari places. This is the original Nihari place on this street. But over time, Kala this Khan place Nihari. adopted the same name. This place adopted the same name. This place took the same name. <laughs> and this place over here took the same name. All they changed was little words or a comma, but they're all imitating the original. The fact that all these people could sprout up around him, essentially copy his content and not face any consequences. I can't believe he hasn't gone ballistic. He imagine someone makes a best ever show review food and then they make money? I'd be pissed. So this guy is the original and that's why we're going to him right now. So he just pulled out a huge beefy looking piece of beef. He drains out the broth and he puts it in his side bowl here. He breaks off some of the meat. I'm ordering triple meat because that meat looks delicious. He puts in the broth and that broth is just like almost like an emulsion of fat. It looks fantastic. This is the ghee going in on top and he hits it with a little bit of ginger and some chilies on top and that is ready to eat. Thank you very much. Shukriya. This is a heavy breakfast. It's very interesting to come to different countries and see what they like to eat early in the morning. Where I come from, it's usually eggs and toast or something on the sweet side. Take a look at this here. There's literally a <laughs> pool on top of oil, big beef chunks inside, plus the broth underneath that. On this side, we have bread. The bread's still a little bit warm. I'm going to break the bread and dip that in. This is going to give me my first insight into the Nihari. Oh, okay, there it is. It is covered in oil, super rich. Every drip is 10 calories, 10 calories, 20 calories, 30 calories. Let's try this out. <laughs> So rich, but so good. Beefy, spicy. It's killing the back of my throat. That's why I need some of this lassi. Balance. That broth, it's like an emulsion of all these little bits that come off of the bones, the meat. It's created its own unique kind of thick, milky broth. From here, the meat. I love picking up the beef because it just breaks apart immediately like a Pakistani brisket. Mmm, so tender, so soft. Before it gets to your mouth, it breaks apart in your hands. All right, nobody would ever get a piece this big, but I must. To me, this is the ideal bite right here. A little bit of ginger, a little bit of chili. Let's go for it. I love it. It tastes like a beef roast or like beef that's been in the crock pot for a good 10 hours until it's become really nice and soft. Some of the fats have leaked out obviously into the broth here. And so it creates this wonderful combination of meat surrounded by even more flavor. I love it. This is one hell of a breakfast. So that is Pakistani Nihari. From here, I'm going to New Delhi in India to try their version and see how it stacks up. In all Delhi. Welcome to India, welcome to Delhi. So we have had the Nihari in Islamabad, in Pakistan, and now it is time to have the Nihari here. I'm on a bicycle rickshaw, and we're headed to the best place in Delhi to get Nihari. Let's do this. Welcome to Delhi.
Philly's most intense, noisy, stressful intersection. So just down the street a little bit, we're gonna be trying the Indian version of Mihari. It is so loud, so noisy, so chaotic. I cannot wait to get out of here. Let's go this way. The streets are all a mixture of cars, rickshaws, people. Hi, hello. You need to watch your back when you're here so you don't get run over, because it can happen, and I've seen it happen. Our first restaurant, Al Jawahar. And here, you can see, they have these big, beautiful pots, this mutton, and different types of Nihari that have been cooking for hours and hours. We're about to see them dish it up and try it out. If you're gonna get Nihari anywhere in this city, this is it right here. We have got the mutton going on here. I've asked for triple meat, just like I did in Pakistan. He is smothering it with this gravy. That looks incredible. Here, the most obvious difference between the two places is that this is mutton and I had beef in Pakistan. You're not gonna find beef here. If you have something that someone does call beef, it's probably buffalo. Otherwise, the only other difference I see is with the bread. This bread is gorgeous. Look how bubbly and soft it is. Let's walk through it. It is certainly not missing any type of fattiness. That is the broth, the gravy, but there is like an oil slick still on top. I'm gonna put a little bit of these sides on here. Hit it with a little bit of lime. Get a little bit of ginger and then a few of these chilies over here. I've got my bread. Let's get in there. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 it's so spicy. But I like it. I'm sweating, man. Last time I woke up at 5 a.m. in Pakistan to try this. Right now it's midday. So here evidently it's not just for breakfast. It is for all times of the day. It is extremely rich. It has a very like curry-like flavor with tons and tons of spices. Like, if you could take the energy in that street outside and put it into a bite and put it into your mouth, that is what just happened. I taste motorbikes honking, people pushing me out of the way, heat, sweat, colors, everything. So that is just a broth. But here, this is the meat. Big, beautiful chunks of mutton. I'm gonna grab it with the bread. Oh, 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 oh. breaks apart so easily. It has been cooked slow and low with love and spices. Tender and moist. The way they've cooked it, it's still pretty juicy and fatty inside, which is something I love to see. I cannot believe how spicy it is. Wow. We gotta cool it down with some onions. It's a tough competition, but I gotta say, between Pakistan and India, I like this Nihari more. Mm -hmm. Sorry guys, I mean, or you're welcome. I don't know who's watching. Anyway, so I'm gonna go back to Islamabad and I'm gonna try one more classic, biryani. We're gonna see who makes a better biryani between Islamabad and Delhi. Let's go back. We're back from India and back in Pakistan in Islamabad where we're gonna go to this restaurant. This place is called Tandoori Junction and they have some epic biryani. Now, is this the best biryani in all of Pakistan? Probably not, but it's a good place in the capital. Here they have multiple selections. They've got beef, they've got prawns, they've got chicken, all of it in a nice clay pot full of just, oof. Uh, what would you say? Flavorful, sparkling, rainbow filled biryani. It's gonna be ridiculous, let's go. So we're getting two different kinds of biryani today. This is with the Sikh kebab going inside right now. They've just heated it up. From here, they're gonna heat it another five minutes. When it's ready to go, they're gonna bring it to the table. Guys, it's biryani time. Right here, we have two different types. We have chicken, kind of a classic that you're gonna find in many different countries because everybody eats chicken. People have different rules about beef and pork, but we can all agree that chickens should die. Over here, the sea kebab. I'm gonna break off some of this meat. First bite of biryani in Pakistan. Let's go for it. That's really good. The kebab, awesome. Spicy, juicy. Look, there's a cat. See what the cat thinks? Oh, the cat just wants affection. Oh, there we go. Can I be honest with you? No less than 10 minutes ago, that cat walked by with a mouse in its mouth, but it turns out it also likes a little bit of sea kebab. This is what matters right here, the rice. How does this rice taste? Gently spiced, not like a crazy amount of flavor. Warm and steamy. When you mix it with the meat, even better. Very nice. Here, this is the chicken. Same rice, but this chicken has been actually cooked inside the biryani, and it's absorbed all the same flavors. Oh my god, you're back. This cat loves Pakistani food. It's right. It's meowing for more food. All right, I'll give you this bone in a second. So right here, a moment of truth. The chicken from the chicken biryani. Let's go for it. Mmm, super soft, tender, fall off the bone, juicy. Dare I say, succulent. It's absorbed all the seasonings that are in that rice and it's projected some of its own flavor onto the rice as well. That's very nice. Hey, cat. Oh, it, it likes it. So that is two different biryanis, same rice base, I believe, all made in a clay pot. Now, is all biryani in Pakistan like this? No, I just went to one place that happens to be in the capital, Islamabad. But this is gonna be our representation for Pakistan. In a moment, I'm gonna go to India and see it's how they do. It's not the best biryani. 
and we are back from Pakistan. Once again, deep in the alleyways of Old Delhi. Here, this restaurant behind me serving two types of biryani and something I wasn't expecting. They have the chicken, but they also have buffalo. So they call it beef, but it's buffalo beef and not a, you know, cow or ox beef. This isn't something you would regularly see in, in most parts of India, especially among the Hindu community. But because this is a, more the predominantly Muslim community by the mosque or in this whole area, it's good to go. a beautiful creation. I see oil on the bottom. I see this long basmati rice and then just big old chunks of buffalo strewn about inside. Could I please sit? One plate. We've got the plate here. He tosses on just a gigantic portion. Okay, good, 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 good. <laughs> Thank you very much. This portion alone is ridiculous. It's enough to feed a whole family. Look how much meat is on here. And then you can see the different colors of the basmati rice. There's white and orange and everything in between. It's greasy, heavy, and delicious looking. I'm gonna try out just the rice. Here we go. Beautifully spiced. It's a little bit spicy. I can taste it up through my nose. It's soft, but it's not mushy. It's steamed perfectly and oily at the same time. Let's dig into this meat right here. We have all these big chunks of buffalo meat. Oh my God, it's like kissing your first love or your high school crush. The meat there is no joke, almost like caked with seasoning, but then so soft and tender when you chew on it. The part that makes me sad is every time I want to come back here to get this, I need to come all the way here, get a bicycle rickshaw, and then a hike about half a mile. The best part beyond the flavor is the price. This is about a pound of rice and meat. It's about two bucks. That is a huge win. But there's still one more to try. I'm gonna try out that chicken and then make my final verdict. Putting on the rice, the chicken. If you look deep inside, you can see all of these beautiful oils just soaking up the rice, keeping it hydrated. There's bones, super soft meat, rice, yeah, and plenty of sauce on there. Mm. Greasy, oily, giant long strands of rice. So this is all chicken meat right here. Chicken is tender, it's well seasoned, a little bit less spicy, and just quite delicious. After having this in Old Delhi, I believe this is better than the version that I did have in Pakistan. To be fair, to folks in Pakistan, I know that is not the proper representation for biryani in Pakistan. So course, in the future, I'm gonna have course. to go back there. I'm gonna go to Karachi and I'm gonna yes. try biryani there the way it's meant to be had. Sure. But considering we went to two cities, two capitals, and two countries, this is tough to be. Really super delicious. Guys, that is the video. A little uh, experimental. I wanted to try something new. I was just in Pakistan. I came here to India and I wanted to do some comparisons. It's for fun. Don't take it too seriously. Regardless, I love the food in both places. Very delicious and very actually different from each other. More different than you might imagine. Guys, that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Oh, peace. They're going to kill me for this one. Oh, this was a mistake. What was I thinking? I can't compare these two countries. I'm dead. I'm a dead man. <laughs> I'm a dead man. Thank you so much for this video. It was very interesting and... Um, तरीके से बनाया है वीडियो के आ, उन्होंने पाकिस्तानी कैपिटल में ट्राई किया है खाना बिरयानी और निहारी और फिर दिल्ली में जाके उन्होंने सेम डिशेस बिरयानी और निहारी ट्राई किया है और इनके इस एक्सपीरियंस के मुताबिक जो है वो इंडिया वाले जीत गए दोनों डिशेस में निहारी और बिरयानी लेकिन आ, बेशक जो है वो इनका रिव्यू जो है वो सही था क्योंकि देखने में ही जो है वो बिरयानी और निहारी जो है वो दिल्ली वाली शक्ल से ही इतनी अच्छी लग रही थी लेकिन इस्लामाबाद वाली इतनी शक्ल से ही पता चलता है कि ये मतलब ज़्यादा अच्छी नहीं लग रही तो इनके जो रिव्यूज़ हैं वो बिल्कुल सही थे लेकिन क्योंकि इंडिया में आ, दिल्ली जो है वो पूरे इंडिया में मशहूर है कि वहाँ पर बेहतरीन पकवान मिलते हैं दिल्ली बहुत मशहूर है कि वहाँ पर जो है वो बेहतरीन खाना मिलता है पूरे इंडिया में तो लेकिन आई गेस पाकिस्तान में इस्लामाबाद इज़ नॉट द बेस्ट प्लेस टू फाइंड द बेस्ट फूड Uh, अगर वो कराची में चले जाते तो वहाँ पर जो है उनको जाहिद जाहिद निहारी और स्टूडेंट बिरयानी और पता नहीं कौन कौन सी बिरयानी वहाँ पर बेहतरीन मिलती है तो ज़रा जो है ये कंपैरिजन फेयर होती मेरे मेरे ख़्याल से और मेरे हिसाब से ये कंपैरिजन बिल्कुल फेयर नहीं थी क्योंकि उन्होंने दिल ही चूज़ किया है जो कि वहाँ पर सबसे बेहतरीन शहर है खाने के मामले में और पाकिस्तान में इस्लामाबाद वो सबसे बेहतरीन शहर नहीं है खाने के मामले में कराची में ज़्यादा उसको 
زیادہ ذائقہ دار نہاری اور بریانی کھانے کو ملتی تو پھر ایک فیئر کمپیرزن ہوتی تو میرے حساب سے یہ فیئر نہیں تھی ریویوز صحیح تھے بے شک کیونکہ دیکھنے میں ہی جو ہے وہ دل ہی والی والے کھانے زیادہ ماؤتھ واٹرنگ نظر آ رہے تھے تو ریویوز تو بالکل صحیح تھے لیکن کمپیرزن غلط تھی فیئر نہیں تھی کیوں فار دا ریزن آئی سیڈ کیونکہ اگر وہ کراچی میں چلے جاتے تو ریویوز شاید کچھ اور ہوتی سو میں نے لیکن یہاں سعودی عربیہ میں میں نے انڈین کھانا بھی ٹرائی کیا ہے اور اور پاکستانی کھانا بھی ٹرائی کیا ہے دونوں ٹرائی کیے ہیں تو آئی کین سی دیٹ اٹس اے فیئر کمپیرزن کیونکہ آئی ڈونٹ نو کیا یہ بیسٹ کھانے ہوتے ہیں جو یہاں ملتے ہیں یا نہیں کیونکہ اگر آپ کو صحیح کھانا ٹیسٹ کرنا ٹیسٹ کرنا ہے تو آپ کو اسی ملک میں جا کے ٹیسٹ کرنا ہے اور بیسٹ آف دا بیسٹ ٹیسٹ کرنا ہے لیکن بہرحال میں نے جو یہاں پر میں نے ٹرائی کیے ہیں کھانے انڈین اور پاکستانی تو مجھے پاکستانی کھانا زیادہ اچھا لگتا ہے انڈین کھانا اتنا زیادہ وہ پاکستانی کھانے کے کے حساب سے جو ہے وہ پاکستانی کھانا زیادہ اچھا لگتا ہے مجھے انڈین کھانا اتنا زیادہ اچھا بناتے نہیں ہیں یہاں پہ لیکن کیا کہتے ہیں جو مٹھائی ہے وہ مٹھائی جو ہے وہ انڈیا کی زیادہ اچھی لگتی ہے اور اور بنگا بنگلہ دیشی مٹھائی بنگلہ دیشی اور انڈین مٹھائی بیسٹ ہے بنگلہ دیشی سب سے زیادہ بیسٹ ہوتی ہے یہاں پہ مٹھائی اور کیا کہتے ہیں ویجیٹیرین ڈشز جو ہوتی ہیں وہ انڈیا کی زیادہ اچھی ہوتی ہے ویجیٹیرین ڈشز جیسے کہ پالک پنیر اور جتنی بھی ویجیٹیرین ڈشز ہوتی ہیں وہ انڈیا کی زیادہ اچھی ہوتی ہیں کیونکہ وہاں پر زیادہ ویجیٹیرین لوگ رہتے ہیں تو اس میں بالکل ایکسپرٹ ہوتے ہیں وہ ویجیٹیرین کھانا بنانے کے لیکن باقی بریانی قورمہ نہاری یہ ساری چیزیں کباب وغیرہ وہ پاکستان کے بیسٹ ہوتے ہیں سو دیٹ واز ٹوڈیز ویڈیو آئی ہوپ کہ آپ سب کو پسند آئی ہوگی اور ملتے ہیں ان شاء اللہ نیکسٹ ویڈیو میں چل دیں اپنا بہت خیال رکھیے گا فی امین اللہ